we're going on a cross-country kitten delivery. Here's a list of everything we packed. We made sure each kitten's harness was fitted properly the night before. Harper and Tama spent the night playing together and before we knew it, it was time to go. I'm putting Harper's harness back on and packing her up. Then it was Goldie's turn, harness on, and she's ready to go. That's Tama saying one last goodbye to Harper. We checked in at San Francisco International Airport. They tested the cat litter before taking us to a private room that we requested. They put the carriers through the x-ray machines one by one and then we were good to go. After getting through security, we took the cats to the bathroom to see if they would use the litter box. Neither of them did. Then we boarded our flight to Denver, Colorado, which is our first stop. Once we landed, we deplaned, got on some escalators, got on the air train, and headed down to baggage claim to meet Goldie's new family. They were so sweet and were so happy for everyone. We then rushed back through security with Harper. We grabbed a quick meal at an airport lounge and tried to get Harper to use the litter box, but again, she wouldn't. So we headed to our gate and boarded our plane from Denver to New York. Harper fell asleep as we were taking off and then woke up ravenous, so I gave her a treat. A few hours later, we landed in New York City. Here's Harper's first time meeting her new family. That's her human sister, Gemma. She also has three big kitty brothers to get to know. They had her explore a little and then got her settled in the bathroom. We got to visit with Cody and Ash, who were also adopted from Mini Cat Town. Then being in New York City, we got to explore and eat lots of pizza. Harper settled in right away, and after a few wonderful days in New York, we headed home.